In the sessions about building shape maps in Power BI, we showed a couple of these maps. These are two local authorities, Croydon and Lambeth, and we're looking at a shape map at a very low level, LSOA, our lower super output area. We showed you how to get the files for those from um, this wonderful ONS site for the whole of England as Wales as a whole. But what we didn't show you was how to filter that shape file so down to a particular local authority. So we'll do that now. Before we can do that, we need a few resources. The first is this. This is QGIS. It's an open source software. And what we need to do is to download it. Once we've downloaded it, we can launch it and we'll see a page like that. We'll also need uh, the files from the ONS website for the LSOAs. Here I am getting the LSOAs uh, for England and Wales and I'm going to go and download. I'm going to download the, both the spreadsheet, that's a CSV file, and also the shape file. Here I've downloaded those two files and what I've also done is extracted the shape file. It's a zip file and I've extracted that there. We can actually get rid of the zip file. Let's do that. If I have a look at this file here, this CSV file, let me open it up in Excel. It's got a list of codes and that's the unique values of these LSOA codes. That's what we need. And we need to select those codes where the local authority is uh, Croydon. Now, and so what we want to do as well is get them into a state that looks a bit like this. So I've got a list of all the codes. I put single quotes around them and they're comma separated. It's just a list. I've done this in Power BI and I've provided the Power BI file so you can see how I've done it. Uh, you can do it in Power BI or Excel. Now this is the core of it. I'm in QGIS and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer. It's a vector layer and it is actually that shapefile directory. Let me just bring it in. I'll go and bring that database in and it's uh, this one. And let me add that. It's plotted a map with those 30 odd thousand LSOAs in for England and Wales. Now what we need to do is actually select the LSOAs that are not in Croydon and then we can um, remove them. So I'm going to go into select features by expression and I'm going to go into my fields and values and say this is the code that they want and we're going to say not in and then we're going to bring in that list of LSOA codes. Here we are, I put in all those LSOA codes into that not in clause and now I'm just going to say select features and then I'm going to close. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle editing on and then I'm going to delete the selected features with this trash icon. What's left down here is a little thing which if we bring it up into zoom, I click on that and here we have it, it's the, the map of Croydon. So now what we want to do is we want to save it. So I'm going to come along and I'm going to say export, save features as, I'm going to come this over here. I'm going to call it Croydon and I'm going to save it. And here you can see the files. I've saved the files to a folder called Croydon Shape Map and it's created the five files. Next, what we want to do is to bring it into the map shaper as we showed in the shape maps visual. So let's just go and select. And with the folder, I'll select all those files. I will import them. We get our shape map. Remember that we've got to ch make check the projection, which isn't WGS84, so we'll set that. and just do an info again, just check it looks good. It does. And now what I'm going to do is export as a topo JSON file. Let me export it. So here's the file I've created, croydon.json, the topo JSON file. Let's bring that into Power BI. I've taken that page uh, from the original Power BI file that I showed you and I've duplicated it. What we're going to do here is we're going to go and we're going to just change the shape map, change the map. So I'll get rid of the old map. And what I'll do is I'll add a map. 
and that map is my croydon.json file I'll open it and then we see the file there you can see I've actually used a much higher resolution download a much higher resolution file now so it's a much higher resolution so that's it we've brought a, a, a file down we've uh, filtered it in QJS we've exported it uh, with map shaper to a topo.json file and we've loaded into the Power BI desktop <laughs>